Good morning, thinkers. Today's Tuesday. It's almost March. The weather's getting warmer. The weather's getting warmer, which is pleasant. Today we're going to talk about teaching strategy and a term that I think all English teachers should be familiar with. The term is total physical response. Uh, we shorten it with the acronym TPR. Total physical response was developed by a gentleman named James Asher in the 1960s. Basic principle of TPR is that you enhance your memory, and in this case, language acquisition through a physical movement. And so you listen to a language and then you associate it um, with physical movement and or you can speak and associate that with physical movement. Oftentimes when we think of TPR we think of children's classrooms, a kindergarten, and lots of kids running around uh, which definitely which definitely is a suitable application. A TPR activity that we are all familiar with would be the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Uh, head when the student touches their head, shoulders, student touches their shoulders, knees and toes, uh, so on. It's that mantra coupled with the action that makes it total physical response. I would not recommend building an entire course based on TPR. It's extremely hard, but adding an element of it into your class definitely can bring you some great results. TPR is not limited to just children adding a little movement into your adult classes as well will help with unnatural speakers so if a student is very rigid tell him to move add some movement add some movement with words it can help with that it can help build a little bit more of a natural comfort when speaking here's a little clip by maple leaf learning Alright, that's all I have for you today. As always, keep teaching, keep learning, never stop.